In this case, Dr. Baranes is going to extract the tooth and perform an augmentation procedure in the area in order to reconstruct the ridge. So, it is important to try to perform the, augment the extraction as less invasive as possible. checking that all the teeth was extracted. Now we take a curette and removing all of the granulation tissue. In this case, after extraction, the graft will be left exposed. However, it will be protected by AuraAid which is a adhesive band that resolves completely from polymer and we place it only as a surface protector in order that the material will not wash out. It is very important to clean the socket and to remove all of the granulation tissue. We check and we can see as well that there is no buckle plate here. <coughs> now when the site is ready, we prepare the bond appetite. Pushing slowly the piston and uh, the shaft until the first piston reaches the blue line. Removing the cap. And now we are ready to inject it into the site. It is important to take a dry gauze and to press strongly, first with the finger, then with a periostal elevator. The material must be well compacted in the cervical zone. It is extremely important. If we want to add, we can add. We slightly overfilled. We press again, first with the finger for three seconds and then adding compaction with a periostal elevator on the gauze. Now the material is already set. We can remove access gently.
and we will need to protect the area by using the ORAID which is an adhesive band that we will secure it by a cross suturing above it. Before using the ORAID it's important to clean the area with a gauze and then to wet it a little bit. So we use now a wet gauze a moisted one, not too much and clean the area otherwise the oil will not bend properly <clears throat> this is the oil can you show it to the camera? yes That's how it looks like. Now we trim it into the size that we will need because it's need to protect it's it's need to protect the area so that the graft will not be exposed, physically protected. Otherwise the graft can wash out. Now we place it on the area and we cover the exposed graft and as you can see the band is is adhere to the gums. Now we must secure it with the sutures otherwise it will fail after four hours however with sutures it can stay there about 10 to 14 days until it will resolve completely. The technique for suturing is very simple. We performing a simple mattress suture going from one side to the other underneath the band and then going by crossing above the band to the other side, to the pallet area and now again from side to side we introduce the needle as you can see here take it out and then doing a cross to the other side and make our knot. We tight it properly so that the band will not move. That's all. Now, of course, we instruct the patient not to play with the area and to do mouth rinse not with salt water because salt water will accelerate the resorption. Okay. However, with chlorhexidine gluconate, we have absolutely no problem to make a mouth rinse. That's perfect.